one aspect of our collection that is underrepresented is tobacco cards, which were originally used to stiffen cigarette packages and advertise cigarette brands. Over time, they came to identify people, places, and events. They became a way to look at the game's growth and how intertwined tennis is with our culture. My collection is both tobacco cards and trade cards. Tobacco cards came, as the saying goes, within tobacco pouches. And the trade cards came from food manufacturers, chocolate, bubble gum, and a host of other manufacturers. Most of the tobacco cards are from England and Germany. In the United States, we collected baseball and football cards. But the tobacco cards do start in the 1880s in the US but they are rarer than the French and German. The collection itself is about 4,000 cards. It's 2,000 tobacco and 2,000 trade. Only sport in any country where there are literally 20 nations that have cards which you can collect from. So I have cards from Norway to South Africa to El Salvador and of course from Australia to New Zealand. So of course you have the famous players of the day, many of whom are inducted in this Hall of Fame.